Good morning everyone, the big update is literally two days away where we get the level cap increase to level 65, we get the new armors, we're going to get new weapons, so there's a ton of stuff to look forward to. However, I often get asked the question, Carol, is there anything I can do to prepare myself for the level 65 increase? So in today's video, I'm going to give you two different perspectives so that you can make up your mind on how you want to spend your time and how you want to invest your time into NGS. But before we jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So I'm going to split this video into two parts before the maintenance and then after the maintenance. So let's talk about before maintenance hits. So in the next two days, what should you be doing? To be honest, I personally am not really doing anything too crazy. I'm doing the Stellar Grace Recovery Operation. I picked up all 450 Star Gems already. You can see right here that I'm sitting on 4,530 Star Gems. So I'm pretty well off. I'm very happy. I'm done with the Stellar Grace Recovery Operation. So I don't need to do it anymore. But other than increasing the amount of Star Gems that I have, I also want to increase the amount of Meseta I have. Simply because Meseta is a very useful thing, you know, there's a bunch of new fashion coming out. It definitely can't hurt to have extra Meseta. So if there is any fashion that you want to buy, you can definitely buy it. Last but not least is probably just seasonal points. You know, if there's anything in the seasonal shop that you want to buy, you know, you just farm up a couple extra seasonal points and buy out whatever you need. I already bought out all of the alpha reactors, so there's no real need for me to farm any more seasonal points. So the next two days, I'm really just going to be chilling. I've kind of been playing a lot of Genshin Impact as well as that Gundam Evolutions game. Both games are pretty fun, especially with the Genshin Impact 3.1 update. And then, you know, Gundam Evolution is kind of like Overwatch, but with Gundams. So I'm kind of enjoying that as as well. Now Overwatch 2 is coming out pretty soon so I'm looking forward to that but uh, they need me to buy my phone number. I'm kind of icky about that because the account that I have there is actually an American account and I don't have an American phone number to bind to that account. So I'm kind of looking into this and seeing like, okay, if I don't have a US number, can I bind like a different area code number to this account? It doesn't seem to be possible, which is kind of annoying, but uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to contact support and see what they say, but they're probably going to be like, screw you. You can't do squat, kex D la mal. So that's going to suck. But that's my game plan before the maintenance. If you want to go that extra mile, make sure to complete all the limited time quests. You know, you can get a bunch of nice goodies over here, especially with the veteran suppression. You can see I've been slacking off. I'll probably do at least the star gem ones. You know, there's like 10 star gems here, 10 star gems here. Yeah, I'm, there's 40 star gems sitting here. So I'll probably do that at the bare minimum, pick up the 40 star gems. However, if you are a completionist, you definitely can finish all of these. And don't forget over here with the enemy suppression, there is another like 450,000 Meseta if you do complete all of these. And if you're still looking for things to do, then there's of course the mission pass. Make sure that you do complete the mission pass before October 12th. It's still plenty of time, but you know, better get it out of the way early so you don't need to worry about it. And then there's always the alliance task. It never hurts to help your alliance get ranking. If you guys manage to get silver, you get that extra 20 star gems as well as three beta reactors. That is always really nice. And last but not least is of course your cannonball strike party. Make sure that you do do this in a party and at the very bare minimum get to bronze, okay? These 20 arcs record badges is nothing to sneeze at. It's a substantial amount of record badges. So make sure that you do this at least once so that you get the participation reward. All right, with pre-maintenance out of the way, let's talk about post-maintenance. So after the maintenance is over, the level 65 cap has kicked in. We've got the high rank zones. We've got the new weapons, the new armors. What should you guys be focusing on? Personally, I'm going to be hyper focusing on making money because in the first week, I won't be able to farm for my Arga armors unless I run purple triggers. And, you know, maybe purple triggers might be a solution, but I don't always have friends online to run purple triggers with me. And so my game plan is just going to be farming a crap ton in the combat zones in the beginning just to get myself to level 65. I will not be running yellow triggers. You could run yellow triggers to get to 65 much quicker. However, my focus is going to be money making because there's going to be new capsules. And because there's new capsules, there's going to be a surge in demand for these new capsules. So remember, there's going to be stat four, there's going to be soul fours, there's going to be gigastat fours. 
So there's a lot of demand for those new capsules, which means those will probably sell really, really well at the very beginning for like the first week or two. And so I'm going to be taking advantage of that. So Frost of Soul 4s, I'm going to be farming the crap out of that on the second week. Dust Soul 4s, I'm also going to be farming a crap ton. And if I have a party to farm purple triggers with, then definitely it's going to be Gigas Smite, Gigas Precision, and Gigas Technique 4. Those are also going to sell for a massive amount of money. So my main focus for week one and week two is literally just going to be making tons and tons of money. And the reason for this is because I won't be able to farm for the armors that I actually want, which are the Arga armors until week three. So I might as well just try to make as much money as physically possible. So when week three rolls by and I'm like, OK, it's time to make my armor, it's time to invest. Hopefully by then I've made my 10 to 20 million Meseta so that I can reinvest all of that into my new gear and boom, I'm good to go. I'm set. And also on the third week, the order tower comes out so I do want to be relatively strong for that content since it is sort of like a boss rush with different floors where you can keep progressing and there's a bunch of titles tied to that as well so uh that's pretty much my game plan but let me know in the comment section below what is your game plan for post maintenance special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again but yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome For the heals, the boosts, the rest